everybody, my name is Kim Wilson and I work at Erica's Craft and Sewing Center in South Bend, Indiana. We carry at our store Creative Grid Rulers and if you're not familiar with the Creative Grid Rulers, they are fabulous. You can do just about anything with them. They're made typically to do very specific projects like the pineapple quilt. Here they do pineapple blocks. This is the pineapple trim tool, and what that means is you trim after each round of sewing with this ruler to make it nice and easy. Everybody has scraps, um, who doesn't? The beauty of this ruler is you can use any size piece of fabric as long as it is at least one and three fourths wide and a little wider than longer than what you're going to be putting it on, which probably doesn't make sense, but it will when I start to demo how easy this is. Um, you don't have to use scraps. A lot of people have a little trouble with just pulling scraps out of a bag and using them. They want a more put together look. So this is also great for jelly rolls. You can use fat quarters or yardage, whatever is easiest for you to put together. A lot of people are afraid of pineapple quilt blocks because they think they have to cut precise pieces or sew triangles. There's also a great way to um, foundation paper piece a pineapple quilt block, but then you have to rip out all the papers afterwards. I much prefer when I'm done with the block, I'm done with the block. And I always want my blocks to be the same size, which sometimes when you just are sewing together the pieces, there's a lot of opportunity for those blocks to get a little wonky on you. This tool takes away all those issues. And it's so easy. All you have to do is start with a two and a half inch square. And you can see here, you always start with a dark square. And then you're going to sew on your first light round. And to do this, you always alternate dark light, dark light, and you end with a dark. So you start with your two and a half inch square, you sew on two, set, two lights and then two lights, and you always wanna press these and these. And as you can see, all of these pieces are different sizes, so it truly is for a scrap quilt. And then what you're going to do is read all these squares on your ruler are marked. And so this one says your centering square for round one. And what you do is you just line up that white square with your inside center two and a half inch block that's now two inches after you've sewn with the seam allowance. The other great thing about this ruler is it includes your seam allowance. So you don't ever have to do math. You don't have to worry about, oh, where do I need to do it at? And then all you need to do is cut along the side. And then I like to use a rotating cutting mat because then you can just turn it. You just pick up your ruler, turn your thing. So then we're gonna turn it again. And again, just place it. And you're gonna cut along that seam. You're gonna do all four sides. And like magic, it comes out square. So instead of having to figure out different angles and all that stuff, you're really only sewing straight lines. As long as you can do a quarter inch, you're good to go. And then since you trim it after each time, your blocks are always the same. And then the next thing that you do is you're gonna sew on your dark round. So this is going to be round two. So again, you sew on two dark and two dark, and then you find on your ruler where it says centering square for round two. You just place that square into your block like that, and as you can see, it has this solid white line down the diagonal of your square. That's how you know that you're lined up correctly. They make it nice and easy for you. They also give you these great dashed lines along the edges so you know that you're lined up right, which makes my life easier. I don't have to think about where I just put my ruler down. And then you're just gonna trim it and trim it, and then turn it, and you're going to, again, just line it right up 
and I know I'm right because all my lines line up, and trim it again, and of course, it comes out perfectly square. And then you say, but wait, your corners are cut off. It doesn't matter because you're gonna end up trimming that anyway when you um, sew on your next round. So then you go back to your light rounds. And again, you can see we truly did use scraps for this because all these different size pieces and it always comes out right. As long as it's one and three fourths wide and it just needs to come across here at least, a half, I try to go with a half inch just to be on the safe side, you never know. So with this, on the ruler, you have a centering square for all of your even rounds, and then it has an angle trim line for your rounds three, five, and seven. With this ruler, you can make a six inch finished block, an eight inch finished block, or a 10 inch finished block. So you don't have to make as big a block as what we did on our quilt. You can use the smaller size and maybe make a bed runner or all kinds of different things. So then what you're going to do is you're gonna line up your centering line right down the center of your demo, or the center of your block. Line up your white line right there, and that's where you're gonna trim. And I know that I'm in the right spot because my dashed lines are on the outside and my solid line is down the center and then you're gonna trim it, and you're gonna turn it and line it up again. I said this is where that rotating mat comes in really handy. And then you're just gonna trim it again, and you just keep going around all four sides, and you come up with, again, a perfectly square block. So you just keep going around and around, and eventually you come out with this beautiful pineapple block. Unfortunately, it's not finished. And you would think, huh, how am I gonna make that triangle? Do I have to now sew a triangle on? You do not. They, again, made it super duper easy for you. You sew on these rabbit ear blocks, they call them. And in the instructions, it gives you the size you need to sew on there to make it come out right. Again, they took all the math, all the guesswork out of it, which makes it great. And so you just sew on, and this is the only time you're going to sew a dark to a dark. Otherwise, throughout the whole thing, you're going to alternate your rounds. So you sew on your four corners, and we have done eight rounds with our block. And you find in the, on your ruler the centering square for round eight, and you just put that right in the center of your block again. And I know I'm lined up because there's my diagonal line, and here's my dashed lines. And then all I have to do is cut my corners, and it's a perfect square block. Um, makes it nice and easy. As you can see in our sample, a lot of people think, well, there's some different colors in here. How did you manage to do that? That is not actually the center of the block. This is the center of the block. And since with this ruler, you're trimming after every round, each block comes out exactly the same, which makes life so much easier when you're trying to line up all of those edges. I know I've done several um, log cabin blocks, and I think that I've got them all right until I try to sew them together, and then, you know, not so much. And then there's a lot of unsewing involved, and that's never fun. Um, so I just think that these Creative Grid trim tools are fabulous because they always come out. You know they're going to come out even every time and they're going to line up and just make this beautiful quilt. Um, the other great thing about Creative Grid is they do lots of videos. So even if you, I know I'm going to be on YouTube so you can watch what I just did, but um, if you go to the Creative Grid website, they have tons of videos on exactly how to use their rulers, make it nice and easy. They also put the QR code right on their um, rulers and on their instructions. So if you have a smartphone, all you have to do is scan that code and you can watch a video right on your phone. Very easy, um, very, very easy. They take all the guesswork and, oh, am I doing it right, right out of the equation. So that just makes it very easy to do. So 
hopefully this demonstration has taken some of the, um, these have always kind of intimidated me because it's a lot of pieces. So hopefully this will take some of the intimidation factor out of doing one of these beautiful quilts.